A portion of today's video is kindly sponsored by Green Chef. How do I get my spouse on board? How do I help my roommate live more simply? I'm going crazy. I think I can dig it for the springtime. This is by far the most minimal I have ever been. Hey friends, I'm glad you're here. I am not looking forward to this project though. Oh my gosh, what a way to start a video. But this closet needs a good declutter. Spring has sprung and I need to switch over my wardrobe and find some things that work for me. I'll chat more about what doesn't work for me in this video because it's a lot. And I'm done. I'm ready to just kind of scrap it all and become a nudist, but we live in a civilized society, so I've got to come up with a solution, and hopefully I do that in today's video. <laughs> if you enjoy this video while you're watching it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Drop this emoji in the comments so that I can get down there and chat with you guys a little bit more. I have quite the purge planned, so stay tuned for that. Let's take a look at what's going on in my closet right now. Okay, this is my current closet. Um, some stuff fell out of my husband's pockets over there. I do need to vacuum, but it's not actual dirt, so don't worry. That's his pile of clothing that he needs to like figure out. We recently did laundry. This is my pile of clothing and I have like almost empty drawers because I've been avoiding doing this project. It's, it's a whole thing. It is a hot mess in here. Happy to report that the shoe situation with storing our shoes on these shelves and the improvements that I've made in the past to this, that is really working well. I'm so happy with that. The hanging clothing, I need to go through this as well. These hangers are still working really well. The top of my dresser is definitely a bit crazy right now, so I'm going to go through that as well as all of the clothing that I own. Get ready for probably the most extreme clothing declutter I have ever done. But before we get to all of that, a quick word from today's sponsor. I'll see you in two minutes. Oh, you know it's a good day when that green box shows up on our doorstep. We love Green Chef, as you can see with how Weston is just tearing into this box. Their delicious and nutritious meal kit deliveries are the highlight of our week. So if you didn't know, Green Chef is a CCOF certified organic company and has options for just about every diet and lifestyle, including keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, fast and fit, Mediterranean diet, and even gluten-free. We deal with some food intolerances and allergies in our family, and it's been super easy and fun to order meals from Green Chef that fit all of our needs. We've seriously loved every recipe we've tried from Green Chef, like these amazing fish tacos with cheesy street corn that we had the other night. Seriously, these were to die for. And one thing I'll say about Green Chef is that their selection is never boring. They always have something fresh and new and interesting while still being approachable for a home cook's skill level. You can go on their website or mobile app and customize your meal plan for your family size or portion size. You can swap out different proteins or opt to make a meal plant-based. It's literally so easy and convenient. I love that Green Chef delivers straight to my door. As a busy mom, this allows me to spend less time and money at the grocery store. I also save time in the kitchen because the recipes are super easy to follow and they can be put on the table in about 25 minutes or less. We love serving Green Chef meals to our family and love that their produce is always super fresh and their organic meat choices and sustainably caught seafood options are always flavorful and good for us too. If you'd like to check out Green Chef for yourself, then follow the link in my description box to greenchef.com and use code NATALIE60 for 60% off your first order plus free shipping. Thanks so much to Green Chef for their sponsorship to make today's video possible. And thanks so much to you guys for checking out the brands that I work with so that I can continue to put free content on my channel for y'all. Okay, so my plan of attack right now is to do that little reverse decluttering method that I've done in the past. It works really, really well for me. But this time that capsule wardrobe that I'm gonna start putting down on my bed and building out is going to be as small as I can get away with because quite honestly, 
There are only a few pieces in that ridiculous pile of clothing that you saw in there that actually don't physically hurt me. I deal with a chronic illness uh, called abdominal migraine syndrome. It's actually a rare diagnosis in adults, but one of my biggest triggers is waistbands. And not just hard denim 80s style mom jeans waistbands, I'm talking like the butteriest, softest, like even underwear waistbands have triggered these abdominal migraines. It's a whole thing. It's so stinking frustrating. And frankly, it's rude because I have spent so much time and so much money trying to get clothing that will actually work for me and not physically cause me pain. Like I said in the intro, I'm just over it. I'm so done trying to make the clothing that I have work for me. And I think the closest thing to becoming a nudist is just wearing dresses all the time, which I'm actually not much of a dress person, so I'm not really excited about that, but I'm willing to do it. And I, I realized the other day that just wearing dresses, those were the things that helped me have a better day physically than any of the other cute little joggers or soft waisted pants that I had. I mean, it's been years since I've been able to wear jeans. That ship has sailed long ago. I can't tell you how many pairs of pants I have purchased with the hope that I won't be dying in them within 20 minutes of putting them on. And thus the pile grows. You know, I wanted to love these little linen dresses from Quince, which I love Quince so much. Why am I wearing this? I just compulsively put it on whenever I find a headband. I love Quince, um, but these just, I think it's like the neckline. It's just really high and there's no way to get some like breathing room. Um, and so this one is still brand new with the tags on. I tried the black one enough to know that this style is not a great fit for me. I love, Quince's washable silk. I've talked about it so many times, um, but skirts, waistbands right there at that point that triggers that abdominal migraine is just not working for me right now. I do hope someday to move past this physical ailment because while these things fit size wise, and I'm not really changing size wise, it's that nerve pain that's really just such a frustration, um, but I'm not ready to say goodbye to this yet because it's so cute. There might be a day when I'm doing better that I could wear this. So this is going in that the day that I'm miraculously healed, I shall wear this again, tote. I do believe in miracles. So we shall see. Oh yeah, I have another one of those skirts. Something that I have been wearing is the Quince washable silk, these like cami, long cami dresses. These are lovely and they don't have any of those pinch points here in the torso. So I have this one. I haven't worn the champagne color yet because I purchased it when the season wasn't right, but I anticipate wearing that in the spring or summer. I'm gonna consolidate these hangers over to the other side so they're not distracting me. I really like to get stuff out of sight, out of mind, and that's kind of what I'm thinking for this closet declutter project as a whole. I think I want to get just the items that I can wear out, completely package away the stuff that I still like but can't currently physically wear, just so that I'm not rifling through things that are a distraction, things that are mocking me. Dawn, the minimal mom, talks about that often, how we deserve to have pieces in our wardrobe that fit us now, that aren't mocking us every time we open up that closet. Like I said, I'm the same size as I have been for years. It's not size that's the issue, although I have been in situations where clothing that no longer fits me is mocking me, and that is, that's definitely a struggle too. 
You are not alone if you struggle with that. I think I'm starting to run out of steam. Um, I'm also starting to get an abdominal migraine, so maybe it's time to call it quits today. I was going to go through this seasonal bin. I have two seasonal bins, one for like the uh, hot weather clothing, one for the cold weather clothing. Yeah, this is all really summery. So I think I can close the lid on this one and call it a day after I take everything off of my bed so I can actually sleep in it tonight. Hello. It's the next day um, and I have just been making my way through a couple of things here. Um, I am honestly feeling better about this project than I was yesterday. Um, so thanks so much for your grace for me as I was a bit grumpy and a bit salty yesterday. Chronic pain, chronic illness, it's no fun, but I still need to remember to be grateful that I am alive and breathing in a body, even though that body sometimes betrays me. And I've got sort of a capsule wardrobe kind of picked out on my bed and it's it's so small right now. It's like three, six, nine, eleven, <laughs> eleven pieces. Um, right now, before I get these pieces back into my wardrobe, the top of my dresser is just looking crazy and I would like to polish things up a little bit in there and declutter and get rid of the stuff that's just junk um, so that I have a, a nice clean fresh space to house my collection. Hey hobo man, hey dapper Dan, you both got your style but brother you're never fully dressed without a smile. So since the last clothing declutter video that I did, I've actually only purchased one new pair of shoes and that was a pair of snow boots because I didn't have a pair, I needed them. Um, but they're at the top of the closet now because they don't need to be with the rest of the shoes that I have down here. Bring them back out when the snow returns. Um, and as for the rest of the closet, I've got things tidied up. It's not perfect, but it's progress. I'm gonna start building out my capsule of sorts on this bar. Everything past that puffer coat is either outerwear or a couple of formal or business attire pieces. So not dealing with that today. Right now I'm just going to start hanging some stuff up and then any of those like loungewear bum around work clothing pieces that are not part of the capsule are going into my dresser here. Weston and I could actually probably swap dressers at this point. He's always had more clothing than I have and I pass no judgment on him for that. He needs more clothing than I do with his lifestyle. He can wear more clothing than I can because he doesn't have physical limitations and you know what? more power to him. I mean, he probably could do a little bit of decluttering, but that's another thing for another time. Right now, I'm just gonna start putting my stuff back in here and uh, seeing how this turns out. I mean, did you even declutter your closet if you don't end up with a handful of empty hangers 
and vacuum lines on the floor. I am so happy with the result of the last few days. It's been a bit since I've talked to the camera and um, cause I did just a little bit of heart work and also physical work in here that I just kind of didn't want to narrate, but I wanted to focus and focus. I did. This is by far the most minimal I have ever been with my outfit choices for my wardrobe and even like my loungewear, my bum around work clothing, workout clothing, pajamas, all of that sort of thing fits into one drawer in my dresser. These bottom three drawers here, I'll prove it to you. <laughs> they are completely empty. Look at that. Um, and then I have my collection of clothing for like a capsule just hanging right here. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 with this shirt, 16 with these pants, which are still kind of a maybe. You guys might remember these pants from, I think my fall closet declutter. Um, these are the linen old Navy cropped tapered pants, which are one of the only pants that sometimes work for me. Um, I didn't love this color for the fall time and kind of heading into winter, but I think I can dig it for the springtime. Let me know. This is something that I got out of those seasonal bins, which those bins just hanging off the edge of this shelf up here were kind of driving me bonkers, especially since I was like looking at the fact that I had all of these empty drawers after all the decluttering that I was doing. And it just kind of felt silly to me to have seasonal stuff up there. But at the same time, I don't necessarily want my off season pieces to be kind of mixed in or I should say easily accessible because I feel like I can be easily tempted to dive into that collection and those extra options if I can see them and if I can easily access them. So the solution that I've come up with for now, again, I'm still learning and I'm still trying to figure out what's best for me, especially as my body just keeps changing and betraying me. Um, but for now, first of all, I decluttered out a ton of pieces, sweaters, coats, jackets, lots of pants that don't work for me from my fall and winter uh, collection that are perfectly good, but I don't anticipate wearing again. So those are being passed on. And then I decided that the sweaters that I do want to keep, I shrink vacuum sealed them into uh, those bags that you can get. And then I combined that into a tote of those pieces that I really do want to work for me. But because of my physical state and the situation that I've got going on with my health right now, they simply don't. This is the tote that I'm talking about. Um, in this vacuum bag, I have my heaviest winter stuff sort of shrunk down. Um, I did forget to put this little vest and this hat in there, but that's okay. I can just throw this on the top. Underneath that shrink wrapped bag, I have um, the stuff that is almost right. It's almost right for me, but my physical state isn't allowing me to wear those things, but I am not ready to pass them on. This is a unique situation. Not everyone is gonna find themselves in this situation, but I have to share this. I always try to keep it real, and I want to share that if you're struggling with something like this, sometimes we have to make accommodations for our specific situation, and that can change throughout the different seasons of our life but this is what I have going on right now. Over here, I have this tote. These are things that simply do not work that I'm being really honest with myself and parting with. So a lot of what is in here are pants that I don't anticipate ever working for me. I gave it a shot. It was like, nice try, close, but no cigar. These are being passed on. I also have a lot of like winter items, a couple of coats. There's also a couple of summer items in here as well that when I was going through that seasonal tote, I knew that there were things that would not work for me this year. Um, so those are in there as well. And then Weston, 
actually, this is so awesome. He did a bit of decluttering in his own closet and he put together a full bag of clothing that he's ready to part from. A lot of this is actually just too small for him. In the last few years, but especially this last year, Weston has put on a good amount of muscle mass. And so there are pieces in his wardrobe that are just too medium for him. So he was able to find those pieces. He also had a couple of like completely tattered pieces of like work clothing that just need to go. He created a separate bag for those things. A lot of them had like grease and stuff on them and just were not good enough to be able to donate. And here's the, and here's something cool. And I want to encourage you if you are the main declutterer in your house, if you consider yourself maybe like the minimalist of the household, then please be encouraged and just don't underestimate the power of quietly and gently going through your own belongings. You never know what seeds are being planted in the psyches of the people around you. And no, I'm not advocating for manipulation, but I have found time and time again that when I'm the one to step up and start a project, it inspires those around me. And it, I actually think it also encourages, like it, it bolsters up, it gives courage to those around me to say, hey, if mom can let go of these items or if my wife can let go of these items, then I think I can too. And I don't think it's necessarily a conscious thought like you're having those exact words run through your mind, but I have seen it more often than not, I will say at this point in my decluttering journey that when I just get up and get some stuff done for myself and I respect the belongings of the other people in our house and I just work on the things that I have jurisdiction over. One sunny Saturday afternoon, Weston pops into our closet and decides enough is enough. I'm gonna go through my stuff too. Just my experience um, and I hope that encourages you. I get questions all the time. How do I get my spouse on board? How do I help my roommates live more simply? I'm going crazy. I could still definitely improve in this area and I'm still learning. Um, but something that has just helped so much is first of all, remaining respectful of other people's belongings and just setting that quiet, gentle example of uh, peacefully going through things and peacefully parting from things. So with that said, here's my little, you know, these two totes are pretty full, um, especially the one that I'm donating, which is actually a surprise to me, but having gone through every piece, not just my current wardrobe, but also the seasonal stuff, it makes sense that I was able to part from current things, cold weather things, as well as like hotter weather things. So that's what's in that tote, not rice. These totes actually came out of my pantry. I did a bit of a declutter and reorganization in there and I believe that video is already up on my channel. So I will link it in the description box if you guys want another decluttering video to watch after this one. Uh, this video isn't done yet. So stick around for a little bit longer. I've got this tote of stuff that, you know what, I'm probably gonna have to just put it up at the top of my closet. I don't love the look of totes kind of hanging off the edge but we work with what we have. Now, with showing you what I'm, you know, parting with, let me show you what I'm holding on to. Okay, so like I showed you before, everything from this spot on is just a couple of pieces of outerwear. It's like my business blazers and then a couple of like more formal dresses that I would wear to a wedding or a special event. These are not pieces. None of these pieces I am putting outfits together with. That is what this chunk of clothing is. Again, my um, old navy linen pants. I don't feel like this is the best way to hang pants, um, but I do want to hang them now instead of putting them in this drawer because I would like to see all of my outfit pieces laid out in front of me and not have to go back and forth between a drawer and what's hanging. This beige pair, this black pair, I've had these for years. The new linen pants from Old Navy do not work for me, which is why I thrifted this brighter sort of poppy colored pair. Changed their material, they changed their style. It's such a bummer. Hate it when brands do that, but that's the way the pickle squirts. So as far as dresses go, I really only have two right now that I could wear like on a daily basis. It's this long one. This is um, this is a universal thread 
dress that I thrifted years and years ago. I think I got this off of ThreadUp um, and that's still working really well for me. It's not pinchy or bindy or anything like that. I have this old navy, very basic stretchy jersey dress. This is another one that I have had for so long. Like it literally does not have a tag left on the inside. I have this cardigan from Amazon. I've talked about this so many times. It's like a very, very lightweight sort of crocheted looking cardigan. Um, I have this light sweater, oh, with a Nintendo sticker on it. <laughs> oh my gosh, the stuff I find in my house, hashtag mom life. I have a couple of just button front shirts, this uh, chambray one from Quince. I call this my Chessie shirt from The Parent Trap. It's also from Quince. This is kind of like a Faraday flannel dupe. Um, and this one is great, but I don't know how much longer in this season I'm going to be wearing it because it is a little bit on the heavy side. So I don't know how long this is going to last in this uh, collection. Then also from Quince, I have their washable silk shirts, these button up ones. I have these two, which is the black. And then I have the sort of olive green color. And then I have this soft white. Um, so I have that, I have this shirt. I've had this for years and this is actually a thrifted piece as well. And then I have those same black, uh, olive green and white color for the v-neck washable silk um, tank uh, version of that shirt from Quince and these all are super mixable matchable I can wear pretty much any of these tops with either of the bottoms that I have. It's one of the reasons why I'm more hesitant about these poppy colored bottoms because I don't feel like it's as easily mixable and matchable. I think the only thing that it would clash with is this green. I think this collection is simple enough that I can find an outfit if I'm looking for it. And for me, it's kind of like that cliche, if you can't find something to wear in your closet, it's probably because you have too much clothing. And when I find myself struggling to put an outfit together, it's one of two reasons. I have too much or the stuff that I do have is physically hurting me. And so I'm, I'm happy that every single thing on these hangers does not hurt me. And if I'm having a particularly painful day or a really bad flare up, I can opt for just wearing one of my dresses versus having a waistband for these linen pants. So depends on the day, um, that's okay. And then in my drawers, this is just like that bum around work clothing. I literally have like stained, paint stained shirts. I have sweatshirts, just a couple of those. I have some leggings, that black uh, stretchy jersey jumpsuit that I was wearing earlier in this video. That has been a staple in my wardrobe for years and years. Not really making outfits with it these days. It's kind of one of those comfy bum around the house, bum around the garden sort of outfits. And then I have biker shorts, stretchy shorts, even those can cause me trouble sometimes if they're too high-waisted. So I've been really picky about those, but I got to wear shorts under my, under my dresses. I have since I was a little girl, I'm not comfortable just wearing underwear <laughs> under my dresses, especially running around with kids and like bending over a hundred times a day to clean up my house. Um, and then I just have some pajamas, a couple of pairs of period underwear and stuff like that, a couple of little, you know, unmentionables, which I don't have to open up my drawers and show you. Let me show you my shoe collection because I know I'm gonna get questions about that, even though it's nothing, new, literally nothing new. Tennis shoes, Birkenstocks, nude flats, sandals, and then my like outdoor garden Birkenstocks that get super dirty. So I just kind of keep them down there. And then I have this bag, which has those um, convertible heels, two pairs of those, uh, one nude pair, one black pair. They're strappy, they're cute. I love them. And I've had questions like, are those still working for you? Because they are definitely an investment. And I waited a couple of years before I was finally willing and able to bite the bullet and get them. And I am so glad that I did. I basically replaced, I wanna say like five or six pairs of shoes that I had with just those two pairs, which go down to flats. They go down to small heels. You can do stiletto type heels. You can do block heels. I am ready for springtime. It is here. I'm ready for the sunshine, the better weather. I'm ready to not even think about putting an outfit together. I could just walk in here with my eyes closed, grab a shirt, 
grab a pair of pants, or grab a dress with a little button-up shirt or a cardigan over it and be on my merry way. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and keeping me company. I hope I did the same for you today. Give the video a thumbs up before you leave um, and don't forget to subscribe and turn that bell button on so that you don't miss notifications. I post every single Tuesday at 7 a.m. Pacific time, but just a little housekeeping. I will be taking a one week break at some point here in like the Easter season. I'm filming this video a little bit in advance of that. So I don't know exactly which week I'm taking off. I'd love to see you back here for the next videos that I have planned. I've got some gardeny stuff, some outdoor work that I'd like to accomplish here soon, and I would love to share all of that with you. So thanks so much for spending a little part of your day here with me on my channel. Happy spring, and I'll catch you later.